Hello everyone. So today we will discuss multiple variable assignments. You can assign multiple values to multiple variables at once. As you already know how to assign a variable. If I am having a variable A, I can assign a value to A by just putting a equal sign and giving the value. If I am getting more than one values, I have to take two variables with comma separation so that I can get those comma separated values in different variables. As you can see here, I am having two values 10 and 20. I can get those values in A and B by putting comma in between them. Let us assume that you have to assign n number of values in some variables. But you don't know how many values are going to come. See this example. Here, three values are coming and I have given only two variables. So in this case, I will get an error. Because both the side, left and right side should have same number of variables as well as same number of values so that it can be assigned to those variables. To handle those cases, we can use star operator with variables. This star operator can take any number of values as a list. You can see this line. Here I am taking four values and I have given three variables. So first value will go to A and then n number of values will be taken by B as list and the last value will go to variable C. So you can see 10 went to A, 40 went to C and 20 and 30 went to B as a list. You can see the data types. So here if you don't know how many values are going to come we can use star operator and the variable. So the values will be taken by the variable as a list. In this way we can solve many questions. If the question is to find the last value from the n values which are going to come we can use So in this way 20 and 30 will go to A and the last value will go to B. Now the question for you is that to find the second last value from the n number of values. Thank you.